Hello, and thank you for watching the Weekend Box Office Report. I'm your host, Daniel Kay, and this is the Weekend Box Office Report for May 22nd to 24th, 2015. Notice that that excludes Memorial Day itself, which was on the 25th. Um, it's still coming in, those numbers, and uh, we only do three-day weekends here anyway. Plus, honestly, kind of disappointing um, whenever you slice it, and it's not going to affect the rankings, so let's just move on. Coming in at number one of two new movies in the top ten this week, Tomorrowland from Wayne Vista, starring George Clooney, and yet not really making as much as they were hoping. They were hoping for a big tentpole picture. What they got instead was $55 million. Uh, nobody really quite understands what happened, except uh, apparently the second half is uh, disappointing enough that people are going, eh, maybe next weekend. Well, let's find out what my friend says. Um, coming in at number two, Pitch Perfect. Coming in at number three, Mad Max. And coming in at number four, the other brand new movie. It's brand new! It is as new as new can be. Poltergeist. The 20th Century Fox remake of the MGM franchise uh, made $22.6 million. Yeah, it did okay. Um, I just hope they didn't pay too much for the rights. Uh, okay, so... Now, all the way down at the bottom of the chart, uh, from Strand releasing, Gerontophilia. I don't even know what ranking it is. They didn't put in rankings, but it made $104. And I know what you're thinking. Where are all the hardcore Gerontophiliacs? Why didn't they rush out to see this movie about Gerontophilia? My guess is it's a big holiday weekend and probably the annual Geronto events across the country were um, just too big a lure for the opening weekend. They mistimed that entirely. I don't know what it means either. I don't, I don't check things. I don't know. <laughs> a brand new movie that also kind of failed, Aloft. This is the lowest scoring brand new movie. It came in at 2116 bucks. It's on two screens, so that's about 1058 per screen. Um, which means instead of Aloft, it's barely clearing the gravel. Alright, well thank you very much for watching the Weekend Box Office Report. Back again next week, I will be.